And a good day, all of you. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition. Shame on me. I thought I had done a review of this, especially when this came out. But it looks like when I was digging in the crates, looking back at old videos, I didn't do one. So here it is. Sweetwater psh, Hazy IPA. 6.2% ABV. Uh, same um, ABV as the plain old Sweetwater IPA. That's the one in the yellow can or in the bottle with the yellow labeling. So, um, it's a 88 score on Beer Advocate, I believe, and a 3.7 out of 5 on Untap. So, like I said, from all the, since I've been doing all a lot of these beer reviews, especially able to get Sweetwater pretty easily, even when I was down in Mobile, Alabama, um, I thought I had done this one, but like I said, I didn't do it. But I get to do it now for you people. So here it is. Legal style IPA. Um, Citra, Mosaic, Eldorado, and Asuka, Azaka, Azaka, Azaka hops. You can't see me. I see you now. Yeah, very cloudy as you can see. I got the lamp here, so. You know, you know, I'm home, folks. I ain't going nowhere. So, if you're doing the daytime, you'll see that lamp in back in that corner right there. But so I said, let me go ahead and do this one. Get this out of the way. So, juicy, fresh, and hazy. So it's all the rage of these now Lumen IPAs. Hazy. Again, here's the difference. Again, if you have not seen, and it's double dry hop. Here's the difference. Easy and the Wingsaw IPAs tend to be more fruity, but there are hops in there, and West Coast style IPAs tend to be a little more hoppy, but the citrus is kind of underlying. So there's your difference. Simple, plain to understand. So, so there it is. Like I said, very hazy. You see, you get all the citrus aromas right right away. So let's have at it. Cheers. I get this from time to time, you know, at the service station, QT, or, you know, Raceway, or at the grocery store. Um, obviously, I'm in the home base of the of the brewery, um, which is now owned by a cannabis company uh, based out of Canada. Um, uh, Aspire? It begins with an A. But anyway, um, went to the brewery last... Actually, this past March, I believe. No, this past April and March, I went to the brewery and uh, just kind of check it, check the scene out, see what it was, and you know, had a good time. A lot of fun. A lot of dogs there. Dog friendly, just like the other brewery I was at this past weekend, um, Monday Night Brewery. And it seems it's this. I guess this is the rage. I guess, or this is the thing. You know, dog friendly, whatever. Um, before I left Mobile. And came up here. There was a pub. There was a actually a brew pub. Used to be the home of Haint Blue. Well, they didn't brew beer in there, but that was just their um, just their tap room. Um, the the beer was being brewed in Mississippi. Um, had a little dog dog park, you know, where all the dogs could come in. They had food trucks, everything out there. So, and people would come in, you know, have their pets and sit there and listen to music and you know watch their pets and drink a beer. Hey. What simple is that? Simple. What's better than that? Hanging out with your dog, having a beer, right? Again, the flavors are there. The mango, I'm getting a lot of orange. Stone fruit. There's a little, little tropical fruit in this. It's a little... Bitter in the end, which again, most IPAs, even the New England ones, all of them, with most so of the Belgian ones, but most of these IPAs tend to, some, will take that back. I would say 70% of them tend to have a little bite in the end. So when it says bitter or a little piney, don't 
make a big stick about it, folks. You're not going to die from it. So, um, like I said, I, I get this quite a bit. You know, if I'm on my way home and I'm going to be making dinner, or something, you know, cooking dinner, like a you know, spaghetti, or something, or a pizza. You know, ordering a pizza, frozen pizza, I should say. Just throwing my little toaster oven and let it do it. Do its thing, but yeah, um, I get this quite a bit, and actually, I even pair it with a burger. I think this is pretty sessionable where you could pair it with any food. I think now, it's especially the sessionable IPAs, which I say, some say it's four, start at four percent, four point two, the low calorie IPAs, four point two, four point three, some even lower at three point two, three point five percent. Um, I consider these even the ones up at six percent maybe borderline on 7% as sessionable in my opinion. That's just my view of it. I don't consider them as being like, ooh, put me in a bad space, but very rarely they do. Um, of course, Sweetwater, of course, uh, part of, uh, again, as I mentioned, they owned by a Canadian company, started independent in 97. Of course, there are, core, there are three core beers. Um, now you can say this is the fourth one. Um, of course, the 420, uh, 420 Extra Pale Ale. Of course, the IPA, their blue flavored uh, lager, and this one. And of course, they do several Imperials. Um, the 420 Imperial um, is really good, uh, extremely popular. Um, you know, I also get that from time to time. I'm really in a very good mood. Really, really good mood. But, but um, pretty much overall, this has always been a, a good, good, like I said, good sessionable. Yes, yeah, 6.2%, good sessionable uh, um, Indian Pale Ale. Um, other styles, of course, you want to say that the Sam Adams Long England IPA, I don't know if that's still being made. I mean, I... I gotta look at the Sam Boston Beer Company, Sam Adams website to see if that's still being made. But there have been other New England style IPAs, even some locally here, New Realm Brewing, um, Slow Pour, uh, right here, Social Fox here in Norcross. Um, been a few others that have done, you know, Indian style lagers that haven't done the Sydney New England style IPAs. So, um, so, even some of the Trader Joe ones. So, the style has been around, folks. It's not a new thing, even though, we've, you know, it's been an influx of it, especially these last five years now. So, but, uh, this is 5, 2022, 20, 16, 5 years, 27, 6, 17, yeah. So, this is a really, really good um, he's IPA. I've always liked it. Like I said, not to sound redundant, which I tend to do sometimes. I don't want to, but I tend to do. But anyway, um, I'm going to go with the same score. They have it. I'm going to go 8.8. .8. It is easily accessible. I'm definitely, I know anybody, especially up or down in the East Coast corridor, can get this, can get sweet water. You know, distribution is really good. Even now, this is under a corporate company. Medicinal company. It's all to your health, right? Anyway, so I'm going to go 8.8 .8 for the sweet water. It's empty, guys. Hazy IPA, 8.8. .8, so that is a B plus for me. Really good, really enjoyable. Check it out. I know you can get it. Try it. John Henderson Pierre. Oh, by the way, the shirt is a place I go to get some stuff from time to time. So I hope you like my shirt. Anyway, John Henderson here, the Beverage Ramble team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Sweetwater, hazy, hazy, hazy. IPA, IPA.